It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show this Friday morning. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's time right now for our Friday tech roundup with our expert and editor of the Bad With blog and always complimentary over my shirts that I wear on the show. Diana Shian Spodrenza. Hoe gaan we Good to you. I have to ask you, you know, I've received a bunch of emails of, from, you know, a Nigerian prince that wants to send me millions from his family's <laughs> kingdom. If only if I reveal my personal information yeah. to him. Um, I believe they've now uh, started something that uses AI technology to stop you from receiving emails like that. Well, it's not to stop you from receiving those emails. Okay. It's actually to keep those scammers really, really busy. Oh. So what this bot does, it's, it's, it's essentially an AI bot. And what it does is on your behalf, reply to those Nigerian princes and the various scammers um, <laughs> and just have a conversation with them and keep them busy so that no, they don't scam they other people. Time. Basically, That's they clever. just waste their time. So it's, a, it's an actual AI. All it does is it replies via email. It'll send, you know, what seems like proper human text, yes. how we talk, um, and it'll, it'll have a chat with the scammer until they just give up because oh there's no God. more time. I hope you can give it like your own personality traits and characters like wit and sarcasm. And it, like, yeah, I, th I think sarcasm is a part of that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where do you get this from, amazing. by the way? Yeah. Um, it's free. It, it's uh, something that we can all use. It's called Rescam, uh -huh. um, and uh, they can uh, they, uh, you basically scam the scammers. That's brilliant. I love it. All right. I wonder how long it's going to take them to figure out they're being scammed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, to other news in the UK where uh, scientists in the UK have actually taught a sheep how to recognize Jake Gyllenhaal Ooh. from photos, right? <laughs> Why on earth would you spend time and resources developing that kind of... I don't know, technology? Because apparently Jake Gyllenhaal is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. He is. The sheep <laughs> thinks so too. <laughs> so, so yes, they, they've actually um, <laughs> done a huge study in trying to identify how sheep can look at a picture and see who those people are. Um, and the reason for this is actually not that weird. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so Huntington's disease is a, is a genetic disease that you know uh, about seven out of one hundred thousand people in the world actually get. Okay. They found that in, in your genetic markers, if you've got the gene, you will have the disease. Basically, uh -huh. they, it's a one-to-one -one relationship. Mm -hmm. So we've been trying to understand how we can actually combat this disease. And one of the uh, symptoms of the disease is that you, we can't really recognize faces. So a person that has the disease wouldn't be able to tell you guys apart. And what they're trying to understand with the sheep is um, how they actually recognize faces. And if they can understand how the sheep recognize faces, they can understand which part of the brain actually does that part of the calculation within our brains, and they, they can try to find a treatment for Huntington's disease patients. That's, okay, that, that Close opens up mind. a whole new way of thinking <laughs> about it. Thank you to the sheep that have dedicated their lives yeah. to this research. Well, quickly, we mentioned Snapchat's getting a, re, a, a, like a complete makeover. Um, please tell me the beauty filter will still be there. I'm sure it will. It yeah. must be. Uh, so this is actually quite a big announcement by the CEO that, that he realized and, and the company in itself realized that the, the app isn't as good as we thought it was. Okay. So a lot of their, their older um, and their younger uh, clients, mm -hmm. uh, customers on the app, actually don't fully understand how to use it. Oh. And they've only realized that through looking at the data, how, how people actually behave really on the like app. like the filters. And well, the <laughs> filters I'm sure work fine. Don't, don't worry about yeah. that. It, it'll remain. But, but they've actually realized that they need to relook at the app as a whole and kind of redesign so that um, they can get more, more customers onto the app because it seems that, that people don't really understand it that um, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's complicated. Yeah. There's, and, and, and it's come from adding features, more filters, um, different ways of using okay. the app, and, and they've realized it's, it's a little bit more difficult to use than we've, than we've thought. So okay. they, they're going to redesign the entire thing. Well, let's sure. hope it, it, uh, it turns out for the better and has a better user interface for us to all understand. But Dennis, thank you for very, very much for updating us on the latest. And of course, if you'd like to stay up to date with all the latest uh, tech news in the world of technology, then go to badwithblog.com.